Hi everyone! We've got Ella here today helping me out with my editing video. So, wow. Oh, it's a puppy. Hey, my little puppy. Hey, my little here. My puppy up there. I need to find the picture, don't I? I need to import. Nice work, will be. Alright, let's get started. YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This week I want to show you how I edit an underwater shot that was taken at Fraser Island about a year ago. And this is a half in half out shot using a dome and a GoPro and it was shot in burst mode. Um, this week I've got Ella helping me out, my little white pony. So she's staying with me this week and she's been very cuddly because it's starting to get really cold here in Queensland. So let's get started. So this is the image that I am going to show you how I edited. So this was taken at Fraser Island at Lake Mackenzie um, about a year ago. Um, the water was absolutely amazing. It was the clearest water I've ever seen and the whitest sand and I just could not get enough of swimming in this amazing lake. So this is the finished version and I will show you the before. So this is straight out of the GoPro. So you can see it's very washed out, the colours are very dull and that's quite normal for um, an underwater shot and with using the GoPro as well. So that this is my edit um, up to Lightroom and then I've just gone across into Photoshop just to tidy up uh, the watermarks and bubbles and dust spots and things like that. So we'll jump back over into Lightroom and get started. I'm just going to reset this one back to what it was and the first thing I'm going to do is just crop it to get rid of that vignetting um, so just those black edges there oops just twisted it there a little bit so just cropping it in slightly on the edges and then hit done so I did that with the square tool up here click done okay so that is good now, the next thing I want to do is we just want to bring the vibrance up a little bit um, just to bring a bit of colour back in there. Um, and then do a little bit more, just a touch more. Back to there. And then I'm going to bring the whites up as well. So if you hold down the Alt key and then slide to the left, you can see there's some little dots appearing on the screen, so that's usually about where you want to go. Um, so that's about 39, which is fine. I'm happy with that. And I'll just put, bring a little bit of contrast into the picture as well. Usually with underwater shots, you can you need to use a lot of contrast and clarity just to bring the detail out because it is quite a soft image straight out of the camera. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to put a filter on the bottom. So I've just dragged that filter up to about the horizon. And I'm going to increase the saturation a little bit. And I'm going to bring the temperature down to make it a little bit bluer. And the tint up a little bit to make it a little bit more purple, just to try and get rid of that yellow and green colour. Another thing with shooting ocean or water shots is um, the camera tends to pick up all the blue and all the yellow um, in the atmosphere, which kind of makes it look a bit yuck. Um, so I try to get my images back to that really crisp blue, clear blue that I love anyway. And I'm sure a lot of other people do as well. I'm going to bring the contrast up there as well. Okay, and done. And then I'm going to put a filter on the sky. So drag that one down to the horizon. And I'm just going to increase the exposure. 
and I'm just going to make it a tiny bit warmer just to about there okay done now we want to play around with the hue saturation and luminance sliders a lot because this color is just weird um, and I want to try and get it back to um, what it actually was what I was seeing on the day so we start with a hue panel so we're gonna um, decrease the yellow try and get rid of that yellow and the green there's a ton of green in there so I'm gonna take that all the way down the aqua I'm going to move it to the left so that it's a lot more blue and I'll just increase the blue as well the blue hue okay that's starting to look a bit better saturation I'm going to decrease on the green try and get rid of that green again aqua I'll just bring down a little bit I'm going to increase the blues to about 30 and then with the luminance panel I'm going to get rid of the yellows again and I'm going to bring the greens down so they're a little bit darker so you can see that it, my tan is starting to come back because I actually was really tanned that day um, it was around Christmas time so I'd been out in the sun heap and I was very tanned at the time um, aqua I'm just going to lighten that slightly and the blue I'm just going to make that a little bit darker okay so you can see if I click here oh, wrong one off the top that's what it was and then after playing around with the colors that we've brought it back to that so it's that really nice crisp blue color again okay and the other thing I'm going to do is tick these two boxes here um, yeah that's just to if there's um, sometimes you get like green and red lines around trees and things like that so if you remove chromatic aberration that fixes that and enable profile corrections just fixes if there's any issues like if you're shooting with a wide angle lens or anything like that so um, yeah that's why I do that now we're going to jump across into Photoshop so this is the finished image so I'll go back to the start okay so you can see all the spots and stuff have come back here so I've got to do a bit of cloning and spot removing but first off I'm going to just play around them with the color balance so I'm just going to bring the reds up a little bit and just the blues again as well just trying to get the skin tone looking a bit more natural and also the channel mixer let's see how this looks that's not too bad okay so you can see it makes a little bit of a difference there kind of just gives it like more of a crisp um, hue to it uh, so if I turn those off, that was the original. So you can still then see there's still a bit of yellow in the um, image there, which looks fine. Like it's not a problem, but I just like it looking a bit crisper. So I'm happy with that. And then I just want to get rid of um, the channel mixer just made it a bit pink up the top here. So I'm going to get rid of that by, I just added a layer mask over here by clicking on that one. And I'm going to paint black paint with my black brush across the sky here so I'll make it really big so it's a lot quicker and I'll go over the trees as well just to get rid of any pink hues it might have created there and you can see over here where I've painted on this layer here okay so I'm happy with that so I'm going to flatten 
um, the image to merge all those layers and then I'm going to get to work on getting rid of um, all these watermarks here. So I'm just using the spot healing tool and just simply clicking on those little spots there. And I'll go over here and there's some water bubbles over here that look a bit messy. So we're going to get rid of those. And anything that just looks a bit messy. Okay, that's looking fine. And just fix up these clouds up here. Just to smooth them out a little bit. Now I want to get rid of this big watermark through here because that looks a bit weird. So I'm going to use the clone stamp and I'm going to press the alt key and sort, um, like choose this area here and I'm going to come down here and just paint. So you can see the cross as I paint is where it's picking it up from. So you just have to keep reselecting that area because you can see if I go here, it's going to go across the cloud and then pick up the cloud and we don't really want that. So just reselecting. It does take a bit of time using the clone stamp, but it just does a better job than the spot healing tool does. So that's why I like to use that. If I zoom out, that looks pretty good. So that's kind of fixed up um, all that big watermark across the sky there. And that is it. That is the final image. So that didn't take too long at all. So mainly in this one, it was just color correcting um, just because GoPro shots um, and water shots always, and even drone shots um, tend to bring out all the greens in the water. So it's just getting it back to that nice um, blue color again. Um, so I'm happy with that. So that is how you edit an underwater shot using Lightroom and Photoshop and um, doing a bit of colour correction. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and hit the bell to get notified of when I upload my next video. And I shall see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.